Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Welcome to this year's what I got for Christmas video. I don't, did I make one last year? I don't think that I did. I'm coming at you on Boxing Day I'm filming this. I feel lazy today so I did not do my makeup or anything. This is just going to be a chill what I got for Christmas video. I have my tree on in the background. We're sitting on the floor. We are chilling. And uh, we're just gonna get started. If you hear any laughing or anything in the background, my dad and my brother are literally just outside of there laughing their asses off. First off, I um, I can't really show you it because it's in my wallet. I got a Starbucks gift card from Lauren's cousin Carrie. It's not really like a Christmas gift, it's like a thank you because I wrapped some of her presents for her. So it was just like a big thank you, even though I literally told her that she's not allowed to pay me or do anything like that. She decided to get me a gift card anyways, so. I kind of had to accept it. I just can't be like, no, take your gift card and go. Next up is Lauren's granny. She actually got me present this year. It was really sweet. In this cute little Minnie Mouse Christmas card, I got a Tim Hortons gift card. I don't know how much is on there. It doesn't really matter how much is on there. We will find out. I don't go to Tim Hortons too often. At least I know that when I do, I have a gift card. And then because she knows me so, so well, I have opened these and had a couple. I got some Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And I got some Kinder Surprises. <laughs> I love being a child and getting a Minnie Mouse card, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, and a bunch of Kinder Eggs. Thank you. And then for the adults in me, scratch tickets. <laughs> I love it. I can't close it properly, but it did come in this cute like Santa Claus box and it opens up in the middle. I thought that was really cute. Love it. Next up is Lauren's mom and dad and their presents for me. So first up, another thing I have opened as always, <laughs> she got me a Terry's chocolate orange. She always gets me Terry's chocolate oranges every single Christmas, like without fail, every Christmas. I can guarantee that Lauren's mom is gonna get me a Terry's chocolate orange. I say she, is Lauren's mom and dad are the presents like they're technically from them, but we all know that Lauren's mom's the one that picked them out. Sorry, Robbie, if you're watching this, but. The second thing she got me is actually something that I'm wearing right now. It's just this cute little dainty necklace that says Abby and it's spelled the right way and everything and that like literally never happens. It's just so dainty and cute and little and gold, which is like my favorite jewelry metal. So there we go. Hopefully I'm still in focus because I had to change that. Next up was a very heavy present. When I picked it up, I was like, oh my gosh. What in the world could she have gotten me? It's a BB-8 doorstop <laughs> or a weighted bookend, whatever you want to use it for. I might use it as a doorstop. Um, in case you did not know, I really like BB-8. I'm literally looking at like a wall picture that's BB-8, a coin purse that's BB-8, a mug that's BB-8, my actual BB um, droid that I made in Disney World. It's not a BB-8. I just call it my, my BB. I also have a pin that's shaped like BB-8, but it has like a Mickey Mouse inside. And then my R2 lounge fly bag has BB-8s on the inside of it. So you can see that I really like BB. He's my favorite droid in all of Star Wars history. Um, obviously it used to be R2, but then BB came along and just like stole my entire heart. Um, and I don't think anybody will ever be as good as BB. Next up is this cute little notebook with an A on it. It is gold and there's like sparkly stuff on the front of it. She knows me very well. First of all, I needed more notebooks. Oh, it's velvet too. I never really, did I realize that or am I just dumb? I don't know. But I do need more notebooks in my life. I have been using up a lot of my ones that I have now. But yeah, it's just this little notepad. It comes with a little pen. I just thought it was really cute. She like always gets me some sort of notebook, I swear. Next is yet another Starbucks gift card. Um, this is 15 bucks on it, so I will put this in my wallet soon. This next guy is the biggest in size that I got this year. I got some ornament storage, which is so nice because um, all of my ornaments that are from my tree, I just put back in the boxes that they originally came in. So I have like six boxes, uh, like plastic boxes that I just keep putting the ornaments back in. But oh no, but now I have an entire storage box for my ornaments, which is so nice, especially since I'm going to continuously keep buying ornaments over the years, so. The very last thing is something that I already ate and I shared with my brother last night. Um, I got some mini eggs and we ate them because mini eggs are delicious. Next on the list is my best friend, Lauren, and what she got me. So this is literally in no particular order. It's just what I'm grabbing things from. Oh, 
First off, I guess I could show you. If you watch my vlogs, you would have seen this already on one of the Vlogmas days, but she got me this pretty Christmas box. In case you did not know, I have like an entire collection of Christmas boxes. They're back there. It's nice because I get to use them for putting away my decorations and stuff. I already have some boxes instead of like shoving them away in like crappy cardboard boxes, I get to use them as decoration and for storage. So the first little thing I'm gonna show you is this brownie. Um, I already have a Bruni plush, but this one, first of all, is TY, so it's a little different. He is like a lighter blue. He's so freaking cute. Look at that little face. Oh my gosh. Um, and also, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it one second. <laughs> he makes very strange sounds, but he's so cute. I love him so much. What's up with all like the lizards in Disney movies just being like 10 out of 10. Pascal, amazing. Bruni owns my entire heart. Love him so much. Keeping on that sort of Frozen 2 theme, I also got these little, oh my gosh, Bruni earrings. One second. Look at how absolutely darling these are. I'm literally dying. I think I'm gonna put them in now because they're so freaking cute. Look at his little face. I, I have such a deep love for Bruni. By the way, if I'm ever out of focus in this video, I'm very sorry. I'm trying my manual focus for the first time and I don't know how it's gonna go. I'm taking out my uh, Harry Styles inspired earrings. They're Canyon Moon earrings, but they're literally just moons. No one knows they're Harry Styles until I say that. Wow, I've only been filming for 10 minutes. Oh, also while we're sitting here, I should say that this is not all of my Christmas presents for the year. There's some from Lori that I haven't gotten. There is presents um, from like my friends in the States that are being sent to me eventually and I don't know when, but I will have more Christmas presents. It's just that I, uh, I don't have them yet and I wanna get this video up as soon as possible because people don't really care what people got for Christmas after New Year's. I learned that the hard way the first time I tried one of these. These are so cute. The thing is that like my ears are very sensitive so I won't be able to keep them in my ears all day, but I will be able to for a while. Next came in this box, which I'm so glad I'm able to keep. It is so cute and it goes along with like the theme in my room, which is like pink, white, and gold. I opened the <laughs> present and I immediately smelled something and it's this giant candle. It is huge. It is literally the size of my head. Um, it's supposed to smell like lavender and white tea. But when I smell it, and when Lauren smells it, and my mom, we smell, there's a specific part on the Soren ride. I think it's when you're going over India. I could be completely wrong, but this smells like some part of Soren. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's so good. <laughs> so that was an exciting gift. I was really happy to get this. Not only because I wanted more like lavender candles just to like have more calming candles, but also something, anything that smells like Disney, I'm down. Next up is something that Lauren actually made for me. Well, she bought the one part and then she made the rest of the gift. Lauren made me this terrarium, which is so, so freaking cute. There we go. So it's in this little glass gold bulb kind of thing and then there's like little fake succulents in there and little plants i think this is the cutest freaking thing oh and she glued all these little rocks together to make a heart which again is so freaking cute i don't know where i'm gonna put it yet but i will put it somewhere very special so it's like a statement standout piece the next thing i got um i am not gonna touch it because i hate the feeling of it i literally cannot touch it but lauren got me a wax melt warmer <laughs> Um, so it comes in this little box. It, I wish I had a picture of it, but it's like a ceramic feeling kind of thing or like clay and it's probably like yay big. It has holes all around it and then obviously it's a wax melt so it has, I can show you the top. So it has this thing and then you put the wax melt here. This is, this feels fine. It melts all the wax and then makes your room smell amazing. Here's the warmer in here. I literally can't touch it. I tried to take it out to show it to my mom and I gagged, so I can't. I'm very weird with textures, and that is a texture that I literally can't. Ooh, I hate it. Even just thinking about it makes me feel uncomfortable. The next thing that I got from Lauren is this cute as heck long sleeve velvet romper. I think that it is so cute. We actually saw this in the store. It was from Ardennes, or Arden, 
or whatever the hell people say. I say Yardines because I don't care. And I looked at it and I thought it was a dress. I was like, oh my God, that is the shortest dress I've ever seen. And then I was like, oh, never mind. It's shorts. It's safe. <laughs> We're good. It looks so cute on. I, I don't know if I took any pictures in it. I don't think that I did. But it looks really cute on. I was going to wear it yesterday until I realized that I was bloated in the morning just because Christmas. And I was like, no, I'm not doing it. <laughs> Did not like it, but when I tried it on on Christmas Eve, I really liked it. We watched Rent while I was wearing it and it was super comfy and it's so soft. I'm in love with it. Next thing from Lauren is this eye mask. So it's one of the masks that you can put in the freezer and it makes it super nice and cold and then you put it on your eyes, which is something that I absolutely need in my life because I get the worst migraines, like awful migraines where it like puts me out for like an entire day and I feel sick and it's just so bad. The place for my migraines is behind my eyes. So this will be really nice and it'll be soothing and just lovely. Another thing for my eyes are these cucumber eye pads that Lauren got me. Not an iPad, but like eye pads. I'm gonna put them in my skincare fridge and make them cold before I use them. But it's just something to, you know, be nice and calming and soothing on my eyes. And then to go along with that, she did get me like one of the pr pretty animals masks, which um, I don't think I'm gonna look like this cute bumblebee. This is what it looks like. I think I'm gonna look absolutely terrifying. But again, I'm gonna put this in my little skincare fridge and make it cold for when I use it. And it's just gonna be nice. Oh, another thing with that eye mask is I can make it hot as well, but I'm really only gonna use it for cold. The next thing was technically three separate things that I opened, um, but Lauren got me a bunch of jewelry that I actually asked for. I wanted new nose rings and um, rings for my cartilage piercing up here. And she provided, so here's the cartilage piercings. I actually did put one in the other day and they're so big like on my ear, so I took it out. But she did get me little nose rings, which I actually do have in now, one second. So here's the little nose ring that I have. It has a little ball on the end. And I wanted nose rings that were like tightly fitted to my nostril because my old one was pretty loose and I had that one in for many years. So I really do like this. It's just weird if I like move my nose around or like flare my nostrils, but I can feel it. Um, and then she also got me regular hoops that were small like that. And so I put one of those in my cartilage and I like it a lot. It's nice and small. And thankfully they're surgical steel, which means that my ear won't be like, um, get out. I don't want you in here. I need you to leave, get out. Which is what it does to every single other type of ring that I ever put in there. So surgical steel is good to go. So I got three sets. <laughs> of stuff to choose from. Um, the next two things I'm gonna show you are two movies and they're very similar, but also different. I got both it, the um, mini series on DVD. I know a lot of you are probably like, that's a movie. First of all, no, it's not. It was made as a mini series for TV, a four episode, I think it's four episodes of a TV series, but they just like put it all together as one movie. So I got the original with Tim Curry, and then I got the 2017 version with Bill Skarsgård as Pennywise, and I love this movie. I love them both. Obviously, I like grew up watching this one, but this one, I don't, I don't know, something just hits different with this one. I think it's the fact that it's like all the kids' stories and they're hilarious. It's just really good. Staying on the theme of Stephen King, um, I asked Lauren for this book and she provided the Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. I've never read this, but one of the girls that I watch here on YouTube, Possessed by Horror, um, her name is Sarah Hawkinson. She, this is her favorite Stephen King book. It's like a, it's a novella, so it's like really short, but apparently it's supposed to be really good. So I wanted it to add to my Stephen King collection. It'll go up on my wall, cause on my wall I have these like floating shelves and one of my floating shelves is all my Stephen King books. So I'm gonna put it on there. Sticking to the theme of books, another one that I asked for, I hate the feeling of this book, it feels so wrong, but I got Homebody by Rupi Kaur. I do have The Sun and Her Flowers and Milk and Honey. I just really like her writing, and if, in case you didn't know, Rupi Kaur writes like these like super tiny and short poems, but some of them like really hit. I don't know, I just love her, so I'm so glad that I got this. And then the last thing on the theme of books is this, oh, she left a price on it. Uh, this Central Perk 
bookmark. I think it's so cute. I always need more bookmarks, especially because like sometimes I read like three books at a time and then I can't just move my bookmark around because then I'll forget where I was with the other books when I finally come back to it. So, you know, so I got a central perk. This next thing is the absolute cutest. To add to my Disney ornament collection, I got this <laughs> Rapunzel, good old Rapunzel rainbow ornament. Look at it. It has like the braid and then this is her dress obviously and I think that it is so freaking cute. After this video I'm absolutely putting it up on my tree right away and it's a little rainbow. I'm, I'm assuming this is from some sort of Etsy shop but I'm not sure but I love it so much. It's so cute. And then speaking of Rapunzel, this one, I almost screamed. I got a Rapunzel Funk Pop. And I think that this is like a new one. Like it came out this year because the Tangled anniversary was this year. And it says Tangled 10 years. But look at her. She's beautiful. I don't take um, Funko Pops out of boxes, by the way. I always leave them in there. Not that I'm like planning on selling them or anything to like get money. I just, I like to collect them. But I just like... They're so beautiful. I hate that I can't tell if I'm in focus. The thing is autofocus is fine and it does put me in focus, but then like I wouldn't have like a little bit of a blurred background and I don't know. I just wanted it to look nicer than usual. The next set of things that I got from Lauren, I knew immediately when I opened the box because it smelled and it's lush. She got me a snow fairy bath bomb. One of these little snowmen bath bomb. I do like the smell of that, it's really nice. And I don't remember what this is called. I got her one for Christmas and I actually don't like the smell of it at all, but it's this cute little bath bomb right here. I'm still going to use it obviously, but I don't know. Something about the smell just does not sit right with me. We are down to the last two things from Lauren. The second last thing that I got, it, it almost made me cry because of like, there's like certain sentimental things about it. So I got this little shot glass. It says, I'm not throwing away my shot, Alexander Hamilton. I was like, oh my God, that's so cool. That's so cute. Um, the thing is that this shot glass was a shot glass from Lauren's cottage, which belonged to, like the shot glass belonged to her grandma and papa who have both passed away. And they were like another set of grandparents to me. So it meant a lot that they were willing to get rid of one of their shot glasses to give to me. I don't know. It just made, it made me emotional. I almost, I was on the verge of crying, but I knew I couldn't cry because then everybody else would cry and it would just be a thing. So I didn't do it. The very last thing from Lauren is so freaking cute. One second. As you can hear, it has a musical thing to it, but. I'm just gonna let that play down here for a couple minutes until it runs out. Um, in case you did not know, Small World is my favorite Disney ride in Magic Kingdom. I just absolutely love Small World so much. Lauren was looking everywhere for a music box that played Small World, or like some sort of music thing that played Small World, and she found that. Another thing with that is that my favorite animal in the world is a giraffe. The fact that it's giraffe and Small World, it's perfect. When I have a baby, this is totally going in their room. Second last, but certainly not least, um, is presents from my brother. So I actually forgot it. It's not in this room, it's in the other room, and it's also in my Switch. So in case you couldn't guess, it's a Switch game. Um, my brother Justin got me Pikmin 3. I've never played Pikmin before, like any of the games, and so he decided to get me Pikmin 3. And it is so fun. We played it last night, and we were having a blast. It is so cute. I love the game so far. Okay, last, but the least of least, is the gifts from my parents. So we will start with stocking. First thing that I saw when I opened it up was this, which might look confusing to you, but it is a makeup brush cleaner, which is so nice. I do have like a color switch thing, but this is actually for washing your brushes and getting all the gunk off. So I'm really happy that I got that. I actually do need to clean my brushes, like badly. Um, I also got these face shavers that says eyebrow razors. However, I don't use them for my eyebrows. I solely use them for my face, like my mustache area, just because even though there's not, like you can't see anything, there's blonde hair there. 
foundation does stick to the little hairs there and makes it a little darker than normal so you know i also use it on my face to get rid of any uh like peach fuzz that i have it just makes your makeup feel and look better. I got two cans of Batiste dry shampoo. I go through dry shampoo like nobody's business. I love dry shampoo and this is a limited edition scent. It's called Tempt. It smells like rosy, like very floral. I like it a lot so I'm very happy that I got two cans. The last thing other than chocolate that I got in my stocking are these little Invisibobbles. I love Invisibobbles because they feel good in your hair. They don't like rip your hair out like a normal elastic. And these ones are so cute. Oh, it has, I didn't even notice. This one has like little pearl kind of thingies in it. And these are, are like a light pink. So cute, love them. And then got Lindor's, which I ate for breakfast on Christmas morning, so. <laughs> first present that I opened from my parents, I think it was the first one, were these jade rollers. So again, I'm gonna throw these in my skincare fridge. I think Sally is also sending me like a rose quartz one, which is super cute. But now I'm gonna have three different ones to choose from. And it's just nice, there's like a little mini one so you can bring that with you if you're like traveling. There's also a textured side, which I feel nervous about using that on my face, so I don't think I would. But it's just supposed to help de-puff and reduce the appearance of like under eye circles and you look rested. It just feels really nice on your skin, especially if it's from your skincare fridge because then it's nice and cold to like wake you up in the morning. I don't know. Next thing you guys is this little selfie ring light from my parents. So it's just one that will clip onto your phone. I have like a regular ring light for filming, but this one clips onto your phone for like, oh wow. It clips onto your phone for selfies. So it has like three different light modes. So it's like a cool light, a warm light, and then it'll turn off. Oh, there's also like this neutral. So neutral, cold, warm. And it does brighten things up like quite a bit. And I haven't, I think I lost my old one or the batteries ran out or something because I did not use it after a while. Next thing I got from my parents is a new wet brush. I love wet brushes. They are my favorite hair brushes in the entire world. They just make, go through your hair like butter. Not like butter in your hair because that would be greasy and gross, but like it's just so soft and so nice. And this is what it looks like. So I guess from like, a hot pink to like a gold and then there's rose gold. Very cute, sparkly, very me. I also got a set of like Revolution makeup um, during the holidays, like a lot of companies, like makeup companies will make sets of things. So it'll have like a palette and um, blush and brushes and stuff like that. This one comes with a palette. So it was the Rockstar box. So this is the palette. There's not a lot, like a ton of colors in there that I would use normally, but I'm gonna try to see what I can do. Comes with a setting spray, which I don't remember what it's supposed to smell like. There's definitely a scent to it though. It smells nice. It has a three brushes. You can tell I used this one yesterday. Comes with a pencil liner, a highlighter, and a lippy, which if you watched my Christmas day vlog, you would have seen me wear. It's definitely a purple berry toned color and I love it. I got this t-shirt from my parents as well. It says, never too old for fairy tales, which is very me very true it's a medium in women's but it looks huge so it's definitely like a comfy t-shirt and i thought it was really cute i could tell it's from amazon <laughs> not only because it came in an amazon box but it has a little tag right here which is like a staple of amazon i don't know i should just show you now this sweatshirt is also from my parents for christmas it's an h&m sweatshirt as a fantasia shirt it says the ultimate in sight and sound then has three sorcerer mickeys and it says disney fantasia it's pink it's so cute it's from h&m it's from the men's section the only size that they had was a medium so it's really long on me but it's really comfy the inside is so warm i'm so happy that i got this i was debating getting this sweatshirt for myself for a really long time so i'm glad that i got it for christmas weirdly enough my parents got me one of these and i got lauren one of these so i got an amazon echo dot um it's the pink one it's gonna be really fun to have that in my room i have a google home but i actually have that upstairs so everybody can use it, so it'll be nice to have this one for my room. One thing that I asked for and thankfully I got was this. It's for my computer. It's a little Asus um, external slim DVD drive so I can watch movies on my computer or I can play games that are like discs because I have a lot of old games that I was never able to play because my computers couldn't handle it. So like I have this Desperate Housewives game. I don't know if it's gonna work but I will die if it does that I have wanted to play for like 
years. I got this game when I was 12 and I'm 27 now. So it'll be nice to play some old games and be able to watch DVDs because I don't have a DVD player in here. This also has a burner. So if I wanted to make CDs and stuff, I could, you know, old 90s kid things. Okay, these, I opened it up and I was like, what the heck? are those. I was like, did my mom get me vape pens? Cause that does not make sense. And then I noticed there's a little switch on the bottom. I turned it on. I'm like, what the heck is this? Is that not terrifying? This, believe it or not. And then when I did this, I thought that it was a taser and I was like, we're not allowed to have those in Canada, but thank you. I'm glad you listened to me. Um, yeah, no, this is a lighter. That's a lighter and you charge them so they never run out of anything. It's all run off of like electric things. Do you hear that? So loud, scary. I wonder what it would feel like to touch that. I never will. I burn this by the way, because it's bad luck to have candles out if they're unburned, just letting you know. But I kind of want to keep one in my bag just in case someone attacks me one day so I can like see how it hurts them if it does. Cause it's not a taser. But could it be used like a taser? Maybe. Uh, so this came with two of those, which is really nice because now I have two little lighters that one I can keep in my backpack and another one I can just keep in my room. And it's nice because it'll just never run out of juice. They're so cool. One of the coolest gifts I've ever gotten. This thing's a big one. This, oh, I hit my head is a massager. So you could plug it in either into a wall or into your car and you just turn it on here. There's um, a rotation thing so you can choose which direction it's going. There's heating and uh, your speed. I have a really bad shoulder. I have either had a tear, like my muscle completely torn in my shoulder or like a giant knot that just will not go away um, for eight years now has not gone away. So this bad boy is gonna be a lifesaver. I used it yesterday, but I used it for so long that now my back is so sore. Like it feels like I have bruises all over my back. Um, this was amazing though. I'm so happy that I have this. I literally sat there doing my makeup yesterday, just having this on my back and it felt amazing. The very last things that I'm showing in this video today and the most amazing things ever, honestly, um, these were both like together as my big gift for the year because I didn't really have a big gift. I first opened the box and look at this lounge fly bag. <laughs> it has Pascal on it. Look at his little face and it has the suns from Tangled all over it. The back straps, they're like these pretty brown color. It's like a cream color. It's so, so pretty. I love it so much. And I think that it is chunkier. It might be than my R2 backpack. Like it just seems fatter. I could be wrong, but I'm just so happy I got this. It was so exciting. And then beside that, I noticed there was something else and I was like, Ooh, is it like a wallet to go with the bag? Um, no, it's a Bambi crossbody bag. I was looking on box lunch a long time ago and they had these Bambi cross body bags and I thought they were so cute, so sweet, um, but they were sold out and they have stayed sold out since then. So my mom went on Hot Topic and she found this lounge fly cross body Bambi bag. And it says, love is a song that never ends. It has Bambi. It's like, again, this cream color, but it also it has like this light baby pink strap and rose gold detailing right here. I am in love with this. This is what the back looks like. It has little flowers down there. I can't believe we got two lounge fly type, like two lounge fly bags. One's a backpack, one's a crossbody. I'm so happy. Up until I got my lounge fly backpack last year, I actually didn't buy that bag. It was um, part of a subscription box that I had. I did the bippity boppity boxes for a really long time until they no longer sent them to Canada anymore. So I got that in my final box. It was like my birthday box. I splurge and I got the bigger box. Um, so I got that in there. And before that, the only things that I had that were lounge fly were, I had a Disney villains, um, wallet from my sister from like seven, not seven years ago, maybe seven years ago. It was a long time ago, either way. Um, after that I had, I had a different wallet. I had another wallet. I have a small world wallet and I have a BB-8 coin purse. All of those are Loungefly. 
um, but I just never splurged on backpacks or anything like that even though I really wanted to I've wanted to for a long time to buy my own backpack just like another one that I could carry around that's not R2D2 because R2 doesn't go with everything but I think that this cream color goes with so much and I could just use it all the time I love him so much look at Pascal in case you did not uh, in case you couldn't tell I absolutely love Tangled hence why I got like three or four Tangled things um, Bambi is my favorite movie of all time though not just like in not just like Disney movies but in general it's my favorite movie um, but in terms of Disney movies Tangled is my second favorite so now I have so much Tangled stuff yay the last person that I opened things from was yesterday I should have put her earlier but Lauren's sister also gave me presents um, so Amanda hi thank you first off I got this little light up light bulb terrarium. As you can see, it's like, it's literally shaped like a light bulb and it lights up. It has little fake succulents in there and rocks. I think it's just so cute. I want to get a floating shelf in my room and I think I'm gonna put this up on there. This is an LCBO gift card, which is a liquor store in Ontario. Or is it all of Canada? No, cause LCBO O is for Ontario. Anyway, she got me one of these for my birthday that I haven't spent. <laughs> so now I have one for Christmas. And so I can just buy all the booze if I want to. Weirdly enough, she also got me a clip on ring light. So now I have two. I have one that I could like keep in my bag just in case. And then one I could have at home. Um, it's just nice to have multiples sometimes. And the last present from Amanda is so amazing. It is this mug that says Hufflepuff <laughs> and it looks it's the Hufflepuff color on the inside oh these are um Hershey Kisses that I stole from Lauren's house but this is amazing Lauren got a matching one hers is Ravenclaw so this is the R and then it says Ravenclaw around there I think these are so freaking cool it's not even just like a mug like I could eat like so much out of here but like I could eat meals out of this and I will, I definitely will. I'm keeping this out forever. I'm never gonna like put it away to like bring out later. I love it so much. It is amazing. Oh my God. And so far as of December 26th, that is all that I have gotten for Christmas. I'm gonna get more. I don't know if when all my stuff from Sally comes in from the States, if you guys want me to do like an unboxing video cause it's like my birthday slash Christmas gifts, but that'll be exciting to get and unwrap i hope you guys enjoy seeing what i got for christmas this year what did you get for christmas this year tell me what your favorite gift is my favorites uh from my parents are obviously the lounge fly bags um from lauren the shot glass honestly everything from lauren was good i want to say a giant thank you to anyone who got me a gift this year i love you so so much and i'm so appreciative but yeah, I can't choose a favorite from Lauren. I really can't. From Amanda, it's definitely the Hufflepuff mug. And from Lauren's mom, I don't think I could choose anything from Lauren's mom either. Everything was just so good. Everybody did so good this year. I shouldn't keep saying Lauren's mom. It was Lauren's mom and dad. God, I'm just so thankful to have so many people in my life who not only I can give gifts to, but you know, who want to spoil me a little bit too. I don't know, it just makes me feel all happy inside. Thank you guys so much for watching yet again. I love you so much and I will see you soon for another video. Goodbye! <laughs>